slavery now. I broke the hearts of all the girls from Isles or Tady Town. And when they hear the time of war, there is a hullabaloo. When they hear about that handsome lad, they call O'Donnell. Oh, I'm the boy to tease her, and I'm the boy to squeeze her. I'm the boy to please her, and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll port her like an Irishman in the brogue and larny to it. I'm going to be running and calling and calling and calling and calling and calling started together they had been together in a band called the Maladroits a uh, surf rock band actually um, and Ron wanted to go a different direction in music um, he got into Celtic music so it was Ron on guitar and Dave actually playing a saxophone first Ron and his wife Tam used to play bluegrass music and so Ron thought well let's let's do something acoustic but he wasn't thinking really bluegrass he kind of thought well let's go the Celtic route well, it was a natural progression for me because I played bluegrass for a long time and bluegrass music comes from Celtic music and uh, I learned a lot of um, uh, Celtic tunes uh, accidentally uh, from playing bluegrass. I flat picked guitar and I probably knew a couple hundred fiddle tunes. Most of them were Cel of Celtic origin and uh, we just kind of uh, decided to say, well, let's get in and see what we can find about these See if we can find more Celtic music. Some of the members had played together surf music and they decided to move into Irish music and they were going to play both. They were going to play uh, Celtic music and surf music and so they looked for a name that would combine kind of those two musicalities but um, I'm pretty relieved we only play Celtic music because <laughs> I'm not sure if I could pull off surf music on the harp. Bottom 
drew up their shining weapons of their own beloved tree. Death to every foe and traitor, forward strike the Martian too. And hurrah, me boys, for freedom, tis the rising. I had heard about them, um, that they were playing Celtic music together, and Celtic music had been a great love of mine ever since I was a child. And so I kind of wheedled my way into going to a rehearsal, ostensibly just to listen. But really what I wanted them to do is show that I could play a little Celtic music too, and that I like to sing Celtic songs. So I can't remember exactly how I did it, but I eventually started to say things like, you know, I know a tune like that that I can sing, and I would sing it for him. And of course, I was very nervous because I've never done anything remotely professional with music in my life until now. Paul is really, uh, in terms of our act, so to speak, our show, he's really the heart of it. You really need somebody who can get out there, tell the jokes, get the crowd engaged, which he can do very well, actually. And the last tune we're going to play for you today is um, a song called The Sound of Sleep. And we discovered this on an extensive tour of southeastern Indiana that we took one year. And uh, one night at an old fish restaurant, there was a guy in the background playing a fiddle all by himself. And we thought the tune sounded nice, and we asked him what it was. And he said, it's The Sound of Sleep. And he showed us the sheet music for it and everything, and the rest is history. It's one of our favorite tunes. And, uh, the sound of you know, can roll with the punches and and uh, take things as they come. And so without, you know, Paul's really important to the group, ma mainly for his uh, doing the, the show, basically. Paul is really a good front person for our band because he can joke around with the audience and kind of entertain them, um, as well as providing the lyrics, which are often more interesting for people for songs with lyrics than just regular instrumental. Dulcimer, it's um, not a traditional Celtic instrument, but uh, I thought it had a pretty sound and uh, nobody else wanted to play it, so I thought, well, I'll learn how to play that and we'll add it in. And now that I've been playing it, I have seen several Celtic bands with hammer dulcimers in them. You know, it's traditionally, uh, they're in every country under a different name. Um, the hardest part is keeping it in tune. It has 52 strings. I can't read music and play at the same time because I have to look at my strings because there's so many of them. And um, so I have to learn the song and memorize it. That's why you see I don't have a stand with music on it out there. Ron White, he's kind of our leader. He helps coordinate our gigs and tries to get gigs for us. And he also has a really solid work ethic in terms of at the practices and at the gigs, he doesn't like to fool around much. He wants to play, play, play. There he is. Since we got started, we have been playing on Thursday nights here at our house. And we put on a big dinner. Uh, we bring some uh, some beer, some wine, uh, and we usually eat from eat in fellowship from six to seven, and we play seven to nine. We've been doing that, oh, yeah. for that. five years. 